Anyways, but getting to this match, we oh, are... do have Puff. I'm mm -hmm. actually very excited for this, because not a character to get to commentate all the time. Puff is a super interesting character, obviously. Not one we see all the time due to, you know, um, the character not being the greatest, but certainly a character with a lot of potential. Um, and, you know, this character on hit is so scary. We're plus on that side. We're close to plus. Mm -hmm. And the kind of thing, too, is that, like... Puff has, you know, although Puff is like very, you know, floaty, has a lot of issues, especially with dying. You know, Puff does have a lot of just ways of mixing up people that I don't think people really know about yet. And I like the wavelands on the platform so far from Night Night. Excellent utilization there of um, the uh, of adaptation on that platform. Um, and so far, we've seen um, this. I believe like, this is probably going to be where we're going to see the most toughness for Puff. This and Charizard, being that both these characters have an ability to kill absurdly early, uh, and they both have a great ability to anti-air. Which obviously, Puff, being as floaty and as jumpy as she is, is going to be in the air for the. Oh, oh! we got two frames. Okay, oh, wow. we got those. So that, I think Charizard, because he sticks his head so far into the stage, it puffs down smash, hits super low, actually. The hitbox is below her feet a tiny bit. Um, and it can hit through the stage and two-frame Charizard. We got those! Okay! Oh, for sure. And the kind of thing that I kind of want to mention is that we already know that, you know, Jigglypuff does not have too many combos at hand. So, you know, when it comes to just Ooh. playing this character, we're really going to have to see, you know, how Night Knight actually utilizes their oh, advantage. Oh! Are we dead? Especially... We're dead. With no, oh! we're not dead. You're nice as heck. You got the two frame. We can't hit up air rest. Let's go. Yo, so quick start, but we're nice. Still a good situation for Night Knight. Big shield break at least sends a message. Uh, missing that combo is huge though. And um, with the ability to kind of play Ivysaur in this matchup, as um, really Noku has been doing more so, it's going to be tough um, for Night Knight to get back them to the ground to really uh, establish stage advantage. And the kind of thing that I actually really want to mention is that we've really been seeing a lot of good options from Night Knight here at the ledge. They've really been, you know, kind of utilizing... Rough one there, though. Ooh. Absolutely. Soup. But for sure, like, they've been definitely trying their best to keep... Not Noku. true. The big damage. Uh -huh. We got 25%. Um, now this is looking tougher and tougher for Night Knight here. Um, Noko again has an excellent job of uh, really keeping Night Knight in disadvantage as Ivysaur and um, Charizard are so good at doing. Um, big Razor Leaf get back to stage. Nice, the quid. I'll be cancels into, into buttons. We love that. Ooh. Making it back to stage here. Ooh, mm -hmm. looking for that no, same down smash as before. Today. But um, Puff getting dangerously close to death percent, which is hilarious um, because we're only at 50 right now. But Charizard Outsmash will be killing this character right around 70, 80. That up again, a whole lot of damage, and we're getting dangerously close to that up smash percent. Um, and the kind of thing is, too, is that now, like, we definitely have to be worried about because mm -hmm. all the things that, you know, Night Night kind of has to approach with is only pound, really. Yeah. So that's definitely the one thing that they have to be sure of is that, especially when playing neutral, dead. No, Ooh. not quite. Uh, and Puff definitely does have a struggle to approach, um, especially against characters with these big hitboxes like Charizard, like Ivysaur. Um, and uh, I think we've seen that handle it relatively well with those jump-ins, with those pounds, but you need to be able to mix up because if you, your opponent's able to guess what you're going to do after pound, then that kind of leads uh, into really poor situations for Puff because she's kind of stuck in that one spot oh. in air. Oh, uh, all right, 118%. Uh, this is not over just yet. Puff has those combos. Uh, I mean, dr drill combos, up-air combos can definitely get... A character did 30, and then one falling up air will do it with rest. Um, we saw that confirm get missed before. Oh, that's it, though. Mm. Yeah, cannot be jumping in on that move. Uh, that move has a huge hitbox, huge uh, AoE. Mm -hmm. uh, scare situation for Night Knight, and that's going to be no good in game number one. They definitely did extend their hitboxes, and that's kind of the issue with this, is that although, you know, they've been using pound to actually, you know, hit the ledge a lot more often, but they still Ooh. end up extending their yeah. hitbox a lot more oftentimes than not. They'll yeah. get hit for something that, like that. That downer is not disjointed. You're going to get hit for that. Um, however, with that said, moving on to game number two. Uh, looks like the counter pick is going to be... cannot see what they've chosen yet. Um, I did not see what stage they selected. However, I imagine we're going to go to a small stage. Uh, I, Jigglypuff does like those small stages. Isn't really a character that can uh, oh. camp a character like... Um, like uh, Pokemon Trainer being how many schedules are fast or have big hitboxes. And I don't hate to switch back to, to Battlefield again. Noku was able to cover on those platforms really well. However, um, you know, many opportunities for Puff to uh, shark those platforms as well and just keep the space close. Puff is real good up close, has great frame data. Um, so I, I think uh, the intention by Nightly here is to keep the stages small. 
I mean, even then, I feel like, you know, the normal reason why somebody would really love to take someone to... Ooh, big catch. Battlefield is for the fact that, you know, they can actually live a lot earlier. In that first game, we did see, you know, Night Night live a lot oftentimes than not from something that would normally kill Jigglypuff on any other stage. Oh, you're dead. You jumped into it. That's, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit of a schmix there. It covers a lot of space, and as Puff, you kind of just have to take, eat an air dodge there and, like, keep yourself and hope you can get back to stage. Um, but, yeah, that's a real tough situation for Night Night. Oh, and mm -hmm. no jumps? I don't think any jumps. Oh! Oh, my. Uh... We got double nair up B. Okay. We know our confirms. We know what we're... Oh, we're... Not that's the same die, situation but... as last stop. That's really funny. Um, but not looking particularly good for Night Night right now. Uh-oh. That was the not intended rollout, I don't think. Um, and no coup kind of at this point. Showing the ability to recognize when um, to really anti air this character, when to, to keep this character at disadvantage. How uh, to confirm and kill into this character. Every stock so far has been below 60. Um, so I would not be shocked with a rage charge out if that continues as a, as a trend. Um, let's see. And you want to know something I feel like I should know? Because normally, like, you know, Jigglypuff mains can get their confirms, you know, to rest. But Ooh. I'm not sure if this is just a thing that, you know, Noku kind of just knows already. But do you think the actual SDI has anything to kind of do with it? It certainly could be possible. It looks like uh, Noku is getting pretty far away from puffing the situations. Down air. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. Oh, no. You can't do that. Charlie's That's got the Flare Blitz. Got all that armor. Even a trade. Unfortunate. Three stock right there for Noku. A couple three stocks we've seen so far. Um, and yeah, Noku's going to be moving on further into the bracket. Oh, for sure. Um, the, 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 the double nair up B was crazy. I don't think it was true. Um, but it was really nice recognition. Great recognition I right mean, there by Noku. Um, but this second stock was crazy. It was one nair. We were catching jumps. Two, four. Yeah, we were at four or five jumps there. Nair again. It wasn't true. Oh, a rollout came out. But that second nair top, he looked, looked true to me. It looked like Puff was still in hit stun there. Um, and just kind of, you got to be careful there. Can't be, mm -hmm. um, can't be mash and roll out if, if Ivy's not. that close to you. So that's going to be a stop. Mm -hmm. That's going to be it. We're going to be moving further into the bracket. Dill and Luigi's is coming up for oh, us next. Yeah. We're going to love this match.